guys, today we're going to be talking about the white muscle cracker, uh, Sparadon durbanensis, also known as a Witbiskop, a white muscle cracker, a silver stern brush, or Yan Natal brusher. Um, they are quite a, a large bodied fish, quite a, quite a hefty, hefty fish. They have a very big head and a very, very stumpy sort of face, very similar to a stump nose actually, but a much longer elongated body with a bigger tail. They have very powerful jaws and crushing teeth that are very much like pebbles um, that they use to, to feed on the, the, the prey items that they, they select. You're looking at mainly crustaceans and cephalopods, cephalopods being your squids and your octopus. And then any of your more natural baits, your mussels, very good for them. Uh, Siffy, venus ear, muscle man crabs are probably the best. Um, as I said, large, large, powerful fish, very strong. They live in the sort of turbulent gully areas. So anywhere you get ledges or, or gullies running with a lot of white water working is where you're going to find them. And obviously to live in these kind of areas, they've got very strong swimming abilities. So when you do hook them, they pull you flat, then they're very, very, very strong fighters. So heavy tackle is normally, the, is normally what's needed and um, very strong hooks because very often you'll have hooks straighten on them. Um, another little tip. I've learned adding a little loop of Dacron just onto your sinker stops it getting stuck as much and just helps to, to pull the sinker out of, uh, out of the rocks when it does get stuck. They mature at about 35 centimeters. They're an overall silver color, obviously the name Silver Um but the juveniles when, they, when they're a lot smaller, sort of about 20 centimeters and under, they have orangey yellow on the, on the fins. That's very distinctive. Like we said, feeding mainly on everything that's occurring in the, the gullies and the gutters. So your crabs are going to be high on their list. Crayfish they do tend to feed on and surprisingly sardine head is actually a very good bait for them. Um, but if you had only one choice, a muscle man crab cannot be beat. Uh, in terms of when to target them, they're really more of a summer species. So from September kind of onwards and you're going to find them they are endemic to south africa so it's another one of our endemic species so although they do make very good eating we do recommend letting them go but uh, if you do keep just keep one for the pot and release the rest the the head does make a delicious fish soup <laughs> if you ever want to make one uh, in terms of sizes your eastern cake southern cake to a lesser extent is going to be where you get your big boys um, up to about sort of 12 12 kilos is quite is a very good fish, but they grow up to they're probably going to max out at about 18, 20 kilos, but very rarely going to be caught that size. Your smaller ones up to about five, six kilos are generally caught here in the um, So with them being a very strong fighter, um, very interesting to catch using mainly natural baits. I'd highly recommend you add it to your species list. Um, go out, target them, looking at gullies, throwing uh, crabs in there, and get ready to be pulled absolutely off your feet. In terms of tackle, uh, this is what I would use, my personal preference, 13.6 uh, medium. Now this is a 4 to 6 ounce rod, so you're going to be able to throw a 4 5 ounce sinker very comfortably, even if you want to push it with a big bait. Um, that's going to sit nicely in the target areas, so if it needs to wash around a little bit, you can get a sinker, it's going to sit. I pair the little 5000 BG, might be small but it packs a hell of a punch, it's got a nice big handle, so if you are wading through the gutters and things like that, you don't slip off, it's got nice grip on that. I would put our 40 pound J braid. Now with it breaking over its uh, suggested breaking strain, you are going to be able to pull a fish as hard as you want and he's not going to break off. And it's got a lot of abrasion resistance so when you are fishing amongst the rocks you're not going to have to worry about that. Uh, like we mentioned in the uh, updates about them, the for muscle cracker, the very strong jaws, you need a hook that's not going to be able to be opened very easily. My recommendation, Hoodlum 6.0, very strong short shank hook, doesn't get crushed very easily, very very sharp still, and can penetrate that jaw and doesn't get open. So that's what I would use. I where I was going with that. <laughs>